Have you ever Mark? I, I can't even remember. Not well, saying that, it's different anyway, isn't it? Because when you're streaming, you're obviously not streaming exactly what your PC can do normally. Yeah. Like, I think I stream, like, 720p or something. See, look how, look, how, the... look how much it's bugged my map in now that I've done that. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if you've just ruined my gaming experience here. Well, not my gaming experience, but my streaming experience. <laughs> the defenders are going to sally out. Look how much cavalry they've got out. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they were so much cavalry in the last battle and they didn't actually sell it. They just used it as a bait, so like they, they were going to do it. But uh, it might be the case. There is a uh, Outriders, so, I mean, Armagers, Outriders. It's ten, nothing ten, major leadership-wise, so it's a decent sally out. One Keshex in there. Ten sets yeah, one Keshex. Mm. And the others are all Berserkers, aren't they? Oh, no, they've got 11 sets of Cav now, four Berserkers. I mean, they've got Fort Abrasho and IPGs, Modows and... Uh, ISG's already for that Sally out really by the looks of it. Hundred percent of people are voting for No Beaches as well. So it looks like you guys uh, feel like No Beaches are gonna run away with this one after that performance here as well, the last time round. So we'll we'll see if that's gonna be the case. Is Slav's gonna find something up their sleeve here and come away with a a potential win? I don't think you guys in chat think we will. I don't think I see it happening either, so what do you think? Yeah, no Beach has definitely had a pretty pretty strong defense there. Attacking is definitely harder though. Um so I, I think still Slabs can can win this one. Um No Beaches were definitely stronger on the last fight though, but defending is easier, like it's or tends to be they are actually sallying out as well. Yeah, we're looking at the small gate here and the front gate, but it looks like they're Mate. all sallying out the small gate here by the Yeah, they're, they're sallying the out part. the main gate as well. Or at least they're in the alleyway. Yeah, there's a couple there, yeah. So the sally out is coming here, and they're all going on towards that supply point. Trebs are coming into yep. the main gate because that always happens. People expect to sell out from the main gate, so they pre treb the front gate. But yeah, they're all out the side, side gate. The main the gate's gate now opens. open as well, so now they can come through. This the be a fashionable fight. It's and everyone's the on the supply people. point. So the funny thing is here, though, slabs don't actually have to do anything. Like, slabs yeah. don't actually need to attack. All they need to do is just stay out. And be close enough that the attackers can't do anything. They're also they're yep. moving up the siege tower. They may, may, maybe like look at disrupting the siege tower so the siege tower can't get in. But yeah, because like as a defender, you're already at an advantage. Like, you're winning this battle until somebody takes a point. So if you're just there without stopping them even getting anywhere near or anywhere near the, the objectives, you're not going to get the point. So you're not going to get the extra no. time. You're not going to win the battle. But staying out there, having that supply point, and keeping your units around, all it's doing is slowing down. I honestly no think beaches. no beaches could do this better though. I like that they're they're all basically around that one tower that they're moving, but they could just yeah. move as a fifteen man blob to the gate, leave two or three guys with pikes in there, drop blocking all the cavalry and just go and take A. Yep. Like from the back stairs. I think they put their goal here though is if they did, they've got that siege tower up as well potentially, but because they're all forcing that one siege tower, all the artillery is hitting that one siege yeah. tower. So like the siege tower can already. fall. Yeah. So it's clever. Um, they've not even went in, Slavs haven't even send any unit in whatsoever yet here they're just constantly keeping an eye that on what's going about to drop as well and the sea yeah there we go jacks up hopefully on the wall. no beaches need to just push for the gate now though they've got so much anti-cavalry they're starting to move towards them though they're, they're actually trying to get out of the way of units and move towards the supply point ghost x is trying to defend that supply point there because that's obviously their only supply point here and if they come out if, if they were able to grab that supply point on the uh, defender side there's not really much you could do. You don't have to kill any of the heroes. You could just kill all the units and then keep the supply points. And then that would be... There would nothing the defenders, could, the attackers would be able to do at that point. The problem is I think units. the attackers have got too much anti-cav there to, to be in a... Yeah. Like for the, 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 for the defenders to actually clear the units. Um, they've pushed them away now as well. I think slap... Oh, that treb on that supply point. Is that is a, that's a very good treb on the supply point here. Couple of units dying there. Nothing major though. Seventy-seven units versus forty-nine. It's not major, but both siege towers, like the other siege towers, gone down as well here. So overall, they've that's, not managed to get a siege tower cab, up. Seventy-seven cav though. Seventy-seven cav though. Honestly, yeah. no beaches should have gone for the tower, or, like for the gate already. They are they starting to go towards going. the gate now. Yeah, as you mentioned, it. They're starting to move towards the gate. A lot of their units and heroes, and they're trying to take the supply point back over on the left hand side as the rest of the guys uh, start to go back inside here with their units. But that. It was a good deterrent to waste time, and they're gonna to have to shut that general reaps holding that gate open though, so they can't actually get the gate. And no yeah. siege towers have reached though, so it is a good strategy in terms of that for the 
the push. There's no stage towers up on the wall. They've not got to worry about anybody coming up off the wall just now yet. It's all about that one area which you can pinch inside there. Flabs don't really have the units to defend the wall either. If like if no beaches can actually get through the gatehouse now and get up onto the wall, they've got a there's, yeah, there's on the not, inside there's, there's the only unit. berserkers really. There's nothing nothing major there in terms of damage. Um, nah. Like to absorb well, any no damage. staying power really, is yeah, it? Yeah. But they've got shields, no beaches again, they've got modal. They've got obviously a, a sh shit ton of heroes there. Claymores should trade fairly well against berserkers if they've got the shields there taking the hits. See, no I think beaches. beaches are a bit slow though. Yeah, no beaches have actually got more heroes of alive as well. Their free hero count adva uh, uh, advantage here just now. Um, but whether that's going to going to come into play at all when there's no units or any heroes even pushing the points just now. So there's nothing really for them to worry about. They're waiting on the treb uh, the siege tower to come back up. Heroes are going back out and trying to take off Putin in the background there. So really, they're not focusing any sort of area. They've all kind of got themselves clustered into one hero. They've got um, three guys climbing up the mid wall now though, but they've got no units, it's just three heroes. So that's uh, Instinct, Blue Moon and Dade Poodle. Yeah. I mean, they could have maybe just gone for Gummo and taken him out, but there's a short sword there as well. There's Berserkers coming up now as well, so... Are they getting rid of the artillery? Okay. There we go. Putin is eventually dead there, so he he's... I think he started using the artillery in the background, like, out in the uh, the open of the map as well, trying to take the siege towers out, because obviously they don't have any, any defense now, so... They've got a couple of cannons on that far right-hand side that could take out the far right siege tower. Uh, but overall... Unit-wise, it's just all inside the gateway here for no beaches, but still, no siege tower what? up on the wall. We're down to seven and a half minutes, or just, just above seven and a half minutes left. It's it's basically Claymores versus Berserkers as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> inside... Because we've got so many Claymores out. Oh my god, the Defenders is all Berserkers, and yeah, so many Claymores. Yeah. Do Claymores beat Berserkers? Is that is that a thing? I Is think if the Berserkers this? probably can get their, their Rage off, or their, like their Berserker Rage off, I think they probably beat Claymores. But <coughs> yeah. But the Claymores have all their damage at the, the beginning of the fight, don't they? And then as it goes on, they, they peter off, and Berserkers, if they stay alive, it's the opposite, do better yeah. as the fight goes on, so... So the Sally in isn't coming yet, Birdie King. It's not coming. Here we go. Are we going to see them coming they're not, into they're the gate? They're not pushing any here? towers anymore, so they have to go gate. Like they yeah, have they to. Have to. It's the only way. No beaches forcing their way inside Putin's the gate. Your berserkers coming again. in now. Putin, yeah, Putin outside. Oh, and uh, Gires with cavalry and berserkers. Cavalry in the so... back. Oh, they're going to come in the back here. Oh my god, that could be disgusting. Oh, Madawa yeah, there. Though. Madawa should be pretty decent to stop the behind though. Yeah, that counter like push from Slabs fight. was good though. Yeah, there's a nice wee pinch in there. They've got some units uh, falling on both sides here, though. So hero-wise, we're still quite close. It's 14 versus 14. We're starting to get a full-on fight in the gateway here. And the advantage isn't really on anybody's favour here. Unit-wise, the attackers are losing a lot more. I think it's starting to shift, though, isn't it? They're so mixed in. slightly more blue at the minute. Yeah, they're slightly more blue, but the blues are starting to die out. Heroes are dying a lot quicker just now. We're 11 defenders versus 8. We make that 9 versus 8 now. We went really quickly ah, changed. Wow. There was like four or five of the uh, defenders went outside the gate as well to get rid of some of the units in the background and come back in through the gate. So they've actually did the damage there. Now a lot of the uh, attacking heroes are going to punt to A to get the cap off. But yeah, I think they definitely lost sense. that. I was saying that it's very close still though. 350 lost to 362. Yeah, in the terms defenders of have a 100 unit ex advantage. but That was just because they've got the extra units, like greater units. They don't have higher leadership units. So they've got technically a little bit more, but... That's only the reason oh, you mean, why yeah, it's not the attackers have got higher quality, but there's a hundred, yeah. Yeah. That's probably pretty much bang on where the unit difference is as well, because there's yep, four grey we'll units for the defenders. And they still managed to stop the cap of A for a bit here. They've, they've got a unit of berserkers, berserkers on the point, which is stopping the cap, and Did is going to have to jump off of the point here. Lixu comes in and helps out with his unit, but he falls his death here. Well, the berserkers, I'm sure he's going to push V on them, so they stay on the point for as long as possible. Gummo's as a few heroes well, come though. up as well, yeah. They're starting to push and, up uh, the walls as well with the yeah they're, they're climbing the ladder ladders, they didn't get so. when the whole time they were delaying in the the gatehouse they should have had somebody pushing the towers now they're getting it, the tower in yeah the there's the one. far left tower going up but oh yeah far left sorry yeah, yeah. couple of heroes dying there though so we're down to 13 attackers versus 12 defenders but the defenders are just keeping jumping onto the point using berserkers 
You some Fort Brasho as, well. as well there, is it? Fort Brasho is trying to do some work as well. Here comes the Treb. Is that going to hit the Medal that's just getting onto the point as it comes in? It does hit the Medals. It does hit a good chunk of the Medals here as well. So it's that's a, Raiders as well. a very good Treb there. But yeah, there you go. You've got Slaz with a full defense ready here. There's only one Siege Tower on it. No Beach is going to focus that one Siege Tower. It might make it easy for Slavs. Or are Slavs going to give A here? They've used a lot of trebs as well. They've only got five left. I mean, you can treb a lot of the area here. That treb's yeah. probably not going to hit anything. Yeah, no, this that's came in. Oh, it's saying it, hasn't it? They, they, they turned into it. <laughs> yeah, a couple of these small units unlucky. turned into it. And then I, I, the far end ones are actually hitting the last of it. They thought it was over. They moved too far forward. So there are, no beaches managed to get onto the wall, but they're going to get pinched here. Van Blade and the rest of his boys in the background here with Putin and Sukaron. It's going to try and get Ghost in Ghost X going for the supply already as well. Oh, that Trev might come in and do some damage here. The, yeah, the Flamers in the back there. I'm sure that was Flamers that just got picked up, or maybe set, yeah, Flamers in the. So Labs are definitely winning the fight on the the base side, like the capture side. Looks like they're probably going to win this. It's a close hero fight as well, though. We're like neck and neck constantly throughout these battles and interchanges. It's not really going in one way or the other for hero kills. That grenade is going to be huge, though. The Shinji grenade. From the tower. From the tower, yeah, they're they're doing some good work there. Josek looks who is only a few heroes left on Slavs on the wall there, but then you've got Putin oh, yeah, in the back. Again with the Shinjis, but they didn't yeah, manage to Putin's get it off. in the back here with the he got junked off the wall though, so he's not managing to do anything here. But the Shinjis in the background here for Slavs doing some work as well. As oh, that's no Tercios even. No wonder they're shredding them. I was thinking, why are they doing so much musket damage? That's Tercios from General oh. Combo. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, I thought I was Shinji's myself as well there, and I just looked I, over I think there. they did have a set of Shinji's out. No, they don't have Shinji's with them. It was the attackers that had Shinji's. I was so confused, and I was like, what the hell? No, it no, so some, similar. Some you have, can only see it when you see the bombs. Somebody had Shinji's <laughs> at one point as well, further up the list, but they're died out now as well. But uh, I think the Treb hit their ones, but the Tertios have done some good work there. A, yeah. half capped so far. Well, almost half capped, but there's only two Trebs left. This. So Slavs look like they've defended us very valiantly, very well as well. Like, very interesting strategy. Yeah. Even though they lost the supply point on the inside, it doesn't really mean anything for uh, no beaches. No, because it only comes into account anything. when they get A. Yeah, they need yeah. A first to come into play. And then because all the units, they've got an advantage in units here as well, defenders now. Even though they had that extra unit advantage with the, the grey units and stuff and leadership wise, they still have some good units that are out currently just now in defence. You've still got grey hair, Modal, yeah. Sport Brash, ISGs, Gunners. Flames so. as well are going to do yeah, work. Flamers or and if there's a big blob. Like because they, they, they only got the one treb, uh, the one treb, and they only got the one siege tower, and they have to come up that one siege tower, and it's going to be difficult for them to actually get a good front line off. Yeah, there comes ISG. He's ready to set the front line here for uh, Slavs here. Shenji could change it all though for the attackers if they can get their bomb off. Oh, look at Van Blade in the background here as well. He's got another couple of heroes in the background coming around the back. Well, No Beach has tried to make their push forward, but they have got Madaws in the background here to defend that. Fort Abrasio can't really do much against Modal if they can set them brace well beforehand. It will deal damage to Modal's, but as they push with one minute left, it does look like it's almost time up for uh, No Beaches on this attack here. And 90% of people voted for No Beaches to win this one as well. And so far, Slavs have done something that we weren't expecting. And the majority of chat weren't expecting either. This has been a very great defense so far. A starts to get capped, though. They're starting to push forward quite well here. And the unit counts and hero counts are going in favor of no beaches here with the very dying seconds and moments of this fight. They might actually cap A here. I think they're going to get it. I think the problem is as well that um, Slavs just had their Tercios run out of ammo. General Combo's tried moving them away, and he's lost loads of them because they got jumped on by like three or four heroes. Mm -hmm. Now this is, Slavs well, is just going to have to heal, there, hero defend it. They're going to have to heal, hero defend 40, it on and off the point. Three is not, not doable, I don't think. Not with that amount of units and heroes there. No, not at all. There goes General Combo. There goes Putin down as well. General yeah, Combo survives for leaving. so long as a, mo mo uh, as a musket there, but unit count and hero counts now. There's only one hero to defend the point now at home for defense, and they're going to have to get back to that home point and defend home with the last yeah, body four minutes to go. Yeah, body is literally getting chased as well. That he's short bow so needs to hit him away. once with his, um, to get him off the horse, and then he's dead. Kicker Synetic. He's running is... outside as well. Oh, that's, that's just interesting. Trying to confuse him, isn't it? Well, Kicker Synetic is going to get onto the point before any spawnies have even got anywhere near the home point, and all the hero pushes are just going to be a hero fight on the point here now because they don't have yeah. units, really, and... 175 for the attackers, there's 207 for the defenders, but it depends on the units coming in. We've got... The defenders have got trash though, they're going to struggle. And one set of berserkers, it's going to be really tough here, yeah, definitely. Cavalry is well coming in now for the, the attackers. The enemy is 
I don't think they would have planned it to go that close. <laughs> They've just capitalised on the fact that they managed to get a cap off and had the, a good hero advantage after that, la after that oh, last yeah, fight. Oh yeah, definitely. They've not They're got any traps left, but it's all about heroes now. And three minutes is a hard time to defend with no units. The defenders no... aren't going to do this. They've got uh, Winged Assars just come up behind all their, their trash units coming in. They can basically oh, yeah, clear the point. Oh yeah, for the Winged Assars here through. coming in. That's a unit of Fort Abrasha that, or Prefecture Pike, is it? No, that's Fort Abrasha. He's got the charge doctrine oh, on, but the they just got completely doctrine, yeah. stopped. And then there's the Cap coming in here it. as well for the attackers. This looks like No Beaches will pick this up. General Combo is going to be picked off there. Gun No turns to jump onto the point to stop it as long as possible. As a Polax stays on his horse for as long as possible, but you will get killed so quickly with all them heroes. And No Beaches run away with a quick A followed by uh, C, <laughs> like home point there at that point, like within the matter of the last two minutes before the timer even had a chance to That, that to looked shaky down. as well for a little bit, man. Like, no beaches were struggling for a, a couple of the engagements there. They definitely lost out. And I think they were thinking, shit. Like, we, I think I even said when they're pushing us, like, I don't think they're going to get A. Now yeah, I, I only got didn't think tower. they were. I actually thought, like, maybe Slav's just overcommitted, like, to that stage where they realised, right, there's only, like, two minutes left. We should just get back and not die. Like... Yeah, yeah. Get back, get ourselves set up and get units that we have left. But then maybe they already knew they didn't have the units. So that's where it went down down to. But Jekt yeah. picks up the, the MVP uh, for the attackers. Um, six zero kills, 19 assists. Jesus Christ, look at all the assists, the points uh, for No Beaches. They were all involved together as a group. Sickle Wagon in second there was six zero kills. Nine hero kills goes to Ayuku. Jesus, there are definitely a lot of hero kills in this battle. And that's not even just for one team on the other side as well. General Combo with a six hero kills here as well. Lee Win Naga with four. The Almighty says this must be a fashionable three. fight. It's Riga drawn the four. finest so it's people. Been, it's been pretty matched. It was pretty evenly matched across the board. Um, the mental thing with the hero kills, it was actually completely even until that last engage, the last big engagement up on the wall at A. It was literally like 33 33 or something. It was bang on. No, it wasn't 33. It was 30 30, sorry, because uh, no beaches have got 31 at the end. And then there was like one fight where they just all, they completely wiped um, slabs and then. From that point, it was just like we're walking the park for yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like no that, it's that instant snowball when you kill that many heroes, you just go right, it's to be a full fast push. We can't stop now, we have to go. Um, when you've got little time, you have that advantage of heroes, you just have to full force your way as quickly as you possibly can, and that's pretty what happened. There was still.